goal tonight was to catch a flathead. I happened to catch a flathead, so now I guess I'm filming an intro. Um, the dam was super dead. Nobody was catching fish, you know, for the last several hours. And usually, in my experience, when that happens, there's a big flathead out in this pool. Um, there happened to be. I'm hoping it's not the, the biggest one that's out here. Um, but it was a good start, 22 pounds. Um, yeah, so I may float some shiners again. Uh, I doubt it, but uh, eventually I'm going to get a third rod in the water. I have two, one on a three-way rig on the bottom and uh, one on a float. And fish always come from the float here, so let's go. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. It's a good one. It's a good one, for sure. Just peeling still. Can't move them. Can't move them. I haven't moved them at all. It's coming up now. He's gonna be a good one. I still haven't seen him, just the floats. Still haven't seen him. Oh yeah, baby. as big as I thought he was, but he is fired up. A lot of current out there, too. Oh, he's skin hooked, dude. Oh, no. I got a catastrophe. I'm caught in my... He's skin hooked. God, is he mad? As if my hand was enough. I haven't really been recording or nothing super serious because the dam's been incredibly slow and there's been a lot of people in and out. But usually when the dam is super slow, because I've been shiner fishing a lot of people in and out throwing moors usually when that happens there's a big flathead in the area hopefully he's not the biggest what's that i didn't get to see it i caught a giant walleye just after you caught him nice nice one thanks man about time huh yeah yeah, yeah just about time now is what it is yeah, yeah. yep 22 pounds. 22 pounds. That's that's nothing compared to the, one, well, the ones I get down here. So, like, it's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, man.
I got a big one. 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 Oh, he's peeling. He's peeling. He's peeling. He's peeling. He's peeling. He's peeling. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he had it folded. I don't know if you guys saw any of that. I was just so erratic. It's a good one. Got to steer him away from that tubing they put down there. Finger hurts so bad. It's definitely infected. It's at least another 20 pound fish. Oh God, wrong way. Yeah, it's another decent one. Another decent one, man. Ugh. Gotta love the rocks down here. Always keeping it interesting. He might be a little tiny smaller, but he's still probably 20. Close to it. He's dark. Heck yeah, bro. Oh, he's mad at me. Just for the record, that's another successfully planted Maruto. Oh, he is angry, dude. Flood strikes again. Another decent fish. <sighs> Trying not to get my feet super wet here. The dam's gone down a little bit since I've been here. Up oh, there go my feet. He has some really cool colors on him, man. Really cool colors. Another beast, great fight. I got another one right now. Another one already. God. Oh, that might be a better one, maybe, but regardless, it's not a bad one. I'm going to stop and put the, the flash on. All right. Dude, that's quick. That is quick. That's a better one. That's a better one. I have to drag a little tighter this time, I think. So for him to pull drag, it's just a little harder here. Takes a little more of a fish. Up, 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 up. Pull and drag. That's a good one. Yeah, this is gonna be the, the biggest one of the night for sure. He's still going. <laughs> it's a good spot sometimes, man. But so much current out there. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Let's 
That was only out there five minutes, man. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's right by my other line. Hopefully he's hooked good. Yeah, that's over 30. For sure. Oh, he's bottom hooked and barely. He's a he's fat, dude. He's fat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is gonna take a lot. Because he's barely hooked. If he really head shakes, he might get me. He might be 35. Oh god. Come on, Todd, come in. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, baby. Uh, look at him. Hold on. Look at him. Hooked in the bottom lip, dude. That's in the bone, too. He would have head shaken the wrong way, man. He'd have really got me. That's close to 40, dude. That's close to 40. Oh my goodness. Yes, dude, yes. That is what we came here for. I, I couldn't be more excited, dude. Absolute tank, dude. Absolute tank. Dude. I could not be more excited dude good game brother Let's see what you weigh I'm gonna guess 37 oh he just bit me kilograms yeah baby Thirty-seven. I'm just dead on today, bro. Thirty-seven-seven. That's a big one, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's a big one, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You are a giant. I love your head. You are a giant. Thank you, dude. Big Joe says hi. He misses you. Right now he's asleep with a new heart, but I promise you he'll be back for you. Not a doubt in my mind. He's a beast just like you, my friend. Dude. You are a giant, dude. Absolute giant. <laughs> he just bit the surface. That was cool. I am in the water. See ya, buddy. What up, guys? Uh, I'm headed home. I am so. I put one more uh, round of baits on the float. No good, but I don't care, man. I had a good night. Uh, I was here a really long time, man. And any time that I come down to this spot and it's dead in the pool, there's always a flathead. Uh, sometimes it's not a great big one. Uh, tonight, there happen to be quite a few, um, but something to keep in mind. It doesn't have to be with this dam. It could be any dam, um, you know, basically, we're there for a feeding flathead. Um, the, the catch is on the float, I don't know how deep it is out there. It's hard to tell, I have that gushing water right at the end there. Um, I can only make a rough estimate and what I can tell you is that my bait is exponentially off the bottom there. So those to me are high rise flatheads, feeding in the water column. Um, I think that's super rare, but I feel like when you come to a place like this, no matter what kind of fish you are, you're not going to feed on the bottom because everything's happening above you now the flatheads you know they're designed to eat from below you know eyes on the top of their heads you know protruding lower jaw but you know 
it worked out, man. Uh, a lot of people I see come down here, they toss stuff out on the bottom, uh, they use live bait. It's not gonna work. Here and there, you know, consistency though, it's a lot of current out here. You want your cut bait. Uh, that's the go-to here for me. And it, the fish, like I said, always come off the float, no matter how many rods like me and some friends will have out on the bottom right there. You know, each part of the dam is different. Each part of every spillway is different. Um, you know, and it takes some time, it, time on the water and patterning. You know, I knew fish were here tonight, basically through years of doing this and finding out when do the big fat flatheads, you know, feed at places like this, um, you know. And then also time here, you know, throughout the rest of the year when I'm not fishing for flatheads and I'm fishing for game fish and knowing when there's no game fish, there's flatheads, you know, something that's chasing them off. It's my experience, man, but it ended up being a good night. Um, you know, definitely couldn't have done this without ready bait. Uh, couldn't have done this without angler innovations, Merido hooks and big Joe hammer down catfishing. It's a buddy of mine. Uh, he just had a heart transplant today. Uh, so he has, somebody else's heart in his body right now and he is uh, in a medically induced coma basically until you know he can breathe on his own so so far it's gone okay but uh he's a lo local legend man and he taught me a lot about what i know for flatheads and there's no doubt that he made this happen for me tonight so couldn't be more grateful have a good one